Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology. In this series of videos, we are talking about the best book series, the best book for different subjects that of our choice. Now for these different subjects, for the books that I am going to mention, there are three books mentioned for individual videos. Among these three books, it's not likely we are putting in the rank 1, 2, 3, no. All the three books are important because sometimes one book covers some topics better than the other book. That's why we have three books listed for you so that you understand which topics are well written in which books and you can choose that book accordingly. And this book selection is purely based on my personal preference and the way I pursued the book when I read it. The book selection and choice might vary from viewers to viewers. So it is advised that if you want to purchase the book or if you want to read from the book, at least see a sample copy or see the soft copy or PDF version of the book first and then get them. Another advice, if you want to get these books, get it in the colored version. If not possible to buy and afford the original printed version of the book, you can get a PDF and get a colored printout, which still is better in terms of understanding. And if you want to get this book, buy this book, the list of the books and their buying links from Amazon uh, is there in the description. You can click that and you can see uh, the books and you can check the details, you can check the reviews and can decide to purchase or not to purchase. Okay. And at the end, I'll also mention about which book to select and which book not to select based on your requirements. So let's begin. Hello everyone. Here we are with the top three books on biotechnology, the three best books for learning the fundamental concepts of biotechnology, here they are. Now whether you are from BSc Biotechnology or BTEC Biotechnology, it doesn't matter. Depending upon, the, although the syllabus is a little different, but still I am going to tell you that these are the three books that you can always count on if you have biotechnology as your subject of preference. And that is this very first book, Molecular Biotechnology by uh, Glick. And so Glick's book here, of molecular biotechnology, it's known as principle and applications of recombinant DNA. So particularly the recombinant DNA technology uh, is something uh, that is very well covered in this particular book by Bernard Glick. So Bernard R. Glick, this book of molecular biotechnology is a gem for recombinant DNA technology processes. If you are a microbiology student or molecular biology student, you are also going to get a recombinant DNA to technology topic. So for that topic, you go with the Bernard Glick. Comprehensive guide uh, to recombinant DNA technology. There are practical applications of biotechnology in visual implications are there. Various fields of practical application of biotechnology is very well explained there. And the explanations is quite clear. And uh, the molecular techniques that we use. Generally for CSI NET kind of exam, the, the unit 13 recombinant DNA technology and the biological techniques, biotechnology techniques is something that you can read from this book. Okay, uh, the USP of the book, the most important topics that you will get there is genetic engineering, recombinant DNA technology including cloning vectors, gene expression systems, expression vectors, protein engineering and production applications in medicine, agriculture and industry. Okay, particularly the application in medicine, agriculture and industry is something that this book focused on regarding the applications of different biotechnology uh, tools. The second type of book that I'll mention is simply known as uh, the biotechnology. Uh, so it is by Clark. Okay, Clark's book of biotechnology is a fan favorite. Again, a uh, uh, general mass follow this book for biotechnology uh, fundamental knowledge to build their fundamental knowledge on biotechnology. David P. Clark's book on biotechnology, and uh, it provides an introduction to the biotechnology and application. So for absolute beginners, you can go with this biotechnology book by David P. Clark. Okay, it focuses on uh, the genetic technologies and also uh, the case studies are there, real world examples are provided in this book that makes this book really important as well as easy to read. Okay, so the USP of this book is explaining genomics and bioinformatics as a basic and uh, genetic manipulation, CRISPR-Cas9, that part, the RNA biology, advanced RNA biology part, pharmaceutical and medical biotechnology part, industrial biotechnology and environmental application part. You know, this book kind of cover almost all zones of application of biotechnology, be it the pharmaceutical, medical, industrial or environmental. 
all kinds of biotechnology topics are covered from the basic fundamental level in this David P. Clark's book on biotechnology. So this is an all-rounder book for this field. Uh, biotechnology, if you are taking it as a subject, <clears throat> then biotechnology is not only your subject. You have cell biology, molecular biology, biochemistry, immunology, all the subjects you need to read. But if the concrete part of biotechnology is talked about, that is pharmaceutical, medical, industrial, environmental, then this book is going to cover them all. The third book that I have here is the biotechnology for beginners. Okay. And Renberg's book on biotechnology for beginners is less known book here, Renberg. And this book is very easy to understand. And this is for beginners as the name suggests biotechnology for beginners covers a wide range of biotechnology application, but the in-depth knowledge is not there. It's a shallow overall knowledge of so many topics of biotechnology altogether. Engaging writing style and cartoons are uh, and the real life examples are something that makes this biotechnology for beginners as a choice of this three list video series. And uh, the fundamentals of biotechnology, everything covered, basics, fundamental level for all the different topics in a broad, in a broader range of topics are covered, but they are touched in a shallow level. Enzyme and microbial biotechnology is also there, DNA technology and genetic engineering. Biotechnology in the food, pharmaceutical and environmental sectors are also being covered. So again, another wholesome biotechnology understanding book, the core biotechnology application of biotechnology understanding book is there. But again, uh, this one is for absolute basics. If somebody just introduced to the subject and they want to gain knowledge, the very basic knowledge of biotechnology, go with that. Uh, or sometimes, you know, biotechnology is not your major subject to read, but you need to read it separately for some exam or so. You can go with this book because this is a captive style of writing that this book have that will have an impact on your brain because they use uh, graphics, diagrams, cartoons that, that will stick to your brain for longer duration. So that is all regarding the three important books for biotechnology, core, core biotechnology subject or concrete biotechnology fundamental preparation for you. All right, so I believe uh, I've already clearly stated the difference between all the three books which topics are well covered in one book more than the other. So the USP of the books are clearly explained. Now it's your choice which book to choose depending upon your requirement. But remember, this is all my personal preferences. If you want to check, check out the book, the link is there in the description. You can click the link and you can see the details. Hopefully you like this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.